Stephen. Well, what? Why I, is America number one, dude? I, th- I think we covered that. We All right. <laughs> I just want to hear it again. Look, I, look I, I want to also too because one thing I think is kind of funny, but <laughs> I can't. I'm like failing to make it funny. Is just this idea of explanations, which I'm going to talk about in the talk, and this is in part one, but how all cultures have had rain dances. I talked oh, to you yeah, about yeah, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is great. And I just think it's interesting because, first of all, a rain dance is an explicit attempt at weather modification. So, like, no matter what you want to say about people in the West, you're like, you're destroying the weather. It's like, that's what they were trying to do. It's just that they failed at it. Fair. So that we are, we're kind of like, oh, you know, like we look at it with a degree of reverence. <laughs> if they're blasting lasers, we wouldn't be like, oh. Right. Or if their rain dances worked. True that. We, I mean, what I was saying to Shane was like, if you've lived with somebody that likes the thermostat slightly different, you know how annoying that gets. Yeah. If you, all of a sudden you go out in the morning and it's raining and you're like, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking savages. <laughs> fucking doing it again. Oh my God. God like goddamn like Redskins. That's so fucking dance. funny. <laughs> God, that's hilarious. Yeah, to think the, about. the rain dance to think of it as attempted weather modification. I mean, it's, it is, dude. I mean, no, of course, it's what it is. But that's it's crazy. Just funny to look at it in that light. And again, though, but people look at chemtrails, dude. It was Native American chemtrails. <laughs> yeah, dude, they there were fucking, smoke signals. They were fucking yep. dancing. They wanted to make the, the progress air. that we make. They just didn't know how. Fair enough. And they didn't fucking get jiggy with it enough, dude. Right. True. They should have danced harder. Damn, the times that it must have appeared to have worked I must know. have just I know. must have been the most lit fucking well, party it, dude, it'd be this, it'd ever. Be same thing as like an open mic when like you're out, you're rain dancing at work, some guy like drizzled a little bit. He's like, dude, you just got to loosen up. Just fucking, you just got to be yourself, dude. It's like, just dude, do you're pretty funny. Tonight. You're funny. That was good. It's like, <laughs> like it got a little humid, thunder. dude. It got humid out there. You just got to fucking <laughs> let him have it. Humid. I've been doing this for like 15 years, bro. It's like, I know yeah. what I'm doing. That was, people who uh, thought they were the shit at rain dancing must have been so funny. They so, must have like hit it once or twice and then just been like, "I'm not doing it again. <laughs> I can't do it." Like every ten years, <laughs> they'd hit one. Dude, if you hit a rain dance, you'd be the fucking man. It's over, yes. dude. It's over. Well, that's I read. A, there was another book talking about that and how like God evolved, where there'd be like people who would do that, and then they'd be like, "Yup, oh, this guy's in charge of everything," and then he'd do it again. <laughs> it didn't work, and he'd be like. Which one of you guys did something fucked up? And they're all like, oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, I did something fucked up. Ah, oh, he knows. It's like in uh, Apocalypto when there's the eclipse. Do you see Apocalypto? No, I want to see that. He's, a, he's an Aztec. I almost lied and or said a Mayan. yes. Yeah, that I happens. always do that. Music. I always do that yes. shit. Yes. And it's like, you know the part where that happens? And it's like, yeah. Yeah. I love that part. <laughs> I'm always such a psycho that in my mind I'm like, maybe they're just making that up to try to trap me. <laughs> I'm that much of a fucking psycho. Uh, but in Apocalypto, he's they're doing the Aztec thing where they're ripping people's fucking hearts out and cutting their heads off Ooh. the top of pyramids, which they did at an astounding rate. Yeah, yeah. like lines would be miles long. Jesus. This, is, this is a bad rain dance. Yeah, that's what it was. It was a real bad rain dance. And yeah, uh, the worst fucking rain dance possible. Exactly, explicitly trying. But to then there was there was a there's just a, a lunar eclipse or a solar eclipse while he's about to get his heart ripped out, and they're all just like. Whoa. <laughs> the sun god has had its fill of blood. Let this guy go. Fuck yeah. But it's just, you know. That's it's, awesome, man. It's funny that just a freak occurrence happened and he was he well, dude, his that's head a, cut off. That's crazy to think of people who were the, in that time. And then I always think about this so when like 500 years they're going to look at us and be like those fucking idiots. Like when, when it changed yeah. from 1998 to like 20, 2005, 2010, I remember thinking like, Damn, I live in the fucking tens now, dude. This sucks. <laughs> oh, I was like, I'm just like some funny. shitty yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. dude in the tens. Yeah. To where like I look back on 1910, I'm like, idiot, I fucking moron. I think of that all the time. Now I'm like, fuck, man. I'm in the yeah. fucking tens, dude. I was on the end of it. Now You're I'm just at like, the end of the sickest century. <laughs> shitting in my fucking hat, dude. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> That's all right. You'll die in the fifties, which is sick. Hopefully there's another civil rights. <laughs> Over the 2050s includes. 2050s going to be fucking the size 42 dungaree march, dude. They're going to be, like, be fire hose and white dudes. <laughs> they probably will. I'm going to deliver the I have a dream. Are you really? Yeah. I'm going to be like, I have a dream. <laughs> this is Alex Jones voice. <laughs> I'm sick of seeing black movies. I'm sick of seeing ESPN do blackface every day. It's ridiculous. Yeah, dude, that's like. ESPN. <laughs> But yeah, that, that was, was hilarious. What were we talking about buying a house? My sister and her Arab lover <laughs> uh, 
have really they they're moving again. I think they've moved back and forth from Harrisburg to Philadelphia. Well, they move every year. They I, move well, every single year. I mean, he you can't think help he's, it. You think <laughs> yes. he has he's to, nomadic. He's nomadic. Dude. <laughs> he's, they have a caravan set up on seventy six, dude. Just I mean, do I have to say, dude? Trades. He's nomadic. Yeah, now he's selling kids. Well, it's funny because that interrupts my other point. I'm like, every time if he's listening to this, I always wonder about your brother in law. Thanks, but you're like my hair Arabian lover. Arabian, yeah, dude. <laughs> if I'm like, you must just be like motherfucker. No, he's he's. You know, I know he laughs. This about is it. he's a dork though, so it's funny. <laughs> I love him, but he's a fucking... He's, he's a an man, Arab. Dude. He's an Arab. Arabs are fucking dorks. You but, think so? Uh, yes, across the board. Uh, yeah. Every Arab is a fucking I think they're dork. up on the uh, pyramid of coolness. They're up from Asians a little bit. No way. You think Arabs or Asians are cooler than Arabs? I, you're thinking <laughs> like Dubai Arabs. That's a very small no, 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 percentage. No, I'll give it to you. I mean, I'll, We're talking Egyptian... How deep are you trying to go? The majority of Arabs. Egyptian's pretty, Egypt's pretty chill. Egypt's not chill at all. Really? Yeah. Fuck. They're fucking beheading people, blowing up mosques and shit. Yeah, all that's right. not good. But uh, I th- I still think they're cooler than Asian people. Asians Asians are making a run lately. What, well, Arabs what? and Asians are basically in the same. I think they're in the same level of the coolness pyramid. I'd give Arabs a little bit up. They both wear those tapered <laughs> pants. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. A lot of silk. Yeah, they're both right. doing cool hair, cool haircuts now. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I mean, anyway, hey, anyway. I, yeah, here's, gonna... here's an idea. My, my Arab, uh, my Arabian brother-in-law thought that Dave Matthews band, because uh-huh. when he moved to America, it was like, he still, he still struggled figuring things out. And in school, somebody was like, we're going to see Dave Matthews band tonight. And he thought Dave Matthews was a student. <laughs> in his school so he went around looking for Dave Matthews to ask if he could go to his concert wait did he ever go to the like I want to know if he went to the Dave Matthews band he went to concert, the concert he goes like, holy fuck this guy like, goes to my school damn dude this guy is old for school <laughs> but no my favorite story and I've told it before so funny. my Arab brother-in-law uh, showed up on the first day of school his parents just dropped him off at the bus stop and they didn't know they didn't know the color the colors that people were allowed to wear. So he was wearing a big purple fluffy jacket. <laughs> they didn't know that that was a girl's color. So he's a little Arab kid that can't speak English in a purple. He can't speak English. He can't speak a fucking word of English in a purple jacket. And then he got on the wrong bus and went to the wrong school. <laughs> And no one knew who he was, so he's just walking around, and they're like, D- are you where you're supposed to be? And he's like, oh, some of the little... He went home that day. He just, went to, he just went to a different school. What did they do with him? No one can speak Arabic. Dude, they just who, fucking... do fi- who do you call? <laughs> you call there's Ghostbusters, dude. a Arabic boy in a purple jacket. Like, like, dude, this, is just... pre, this is pre-9-11. No one would, cared. That's what I'm saying. I would, but still, I would just spin his shoulders and just be like, go that way, bro. <laughs> Keep walking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man I'm not about to deal with this shit dude. I'll That's be... just such a funny fucking first day of school Oh my too. god it's hilarious You're in a different country You're just in a purple <laughs> fucking jacket And in the wrong school Speaks a lot to the safety of America dude mm. Another country he would have got snatched up And sold into sex slavery <laughs> <laughs> the first maybe. day of school you get lost So once again come here Yeah come here I'll help you uh, That's so But funny. no he had to Him and his family had to flee Religious persecution from the Muslims Yep So keep that in mind I'll keep it I was that. talking to a fucking Armenian last night in the green room. Yeah, what do you before have to he say? went on? I was they like, got genocided. Yeah, uh, Steve Odabashian, mm. Oda, Odabashian, okay, Obadashian, Odabashian. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, we were in the green room. and I was like, oh, what are you Armenian? He was like, oh, nice. I was like, what do you think about that genocide? <laughs> what the Armenian genocide? Yeah, and he was like, we started talking about it for a while. Really? Before he went on, right before he went on stage, you talked about the Armenian. And he was genocide. like, you're gonna make me fucking cry, dude. And I was like, oh, my bad. Then he went on and fucking ate a dick. <laughs> I was in the back like, oh, my bad. So, uh, like, Dashin is Car- an Armenian name? Yeah. Like Kardashian, Obadashian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Good to know. I never but knew that. a lot of people, he, I was like, why don't, why don't we recognize that? Why is that a genocide that America won't? And it was something to do with, like, Russia and Iran. It would, like, be insulting to them. But that was, that was another Muslim genocide. Keep that in mind. What, the Armenian genocide? The Ottoman was Empire. Really? Yeah, the, that was oh, Ottoman. That, that was some Turkish. Some boys, dude. Killed that... 1.5 million people. That's pretty what good. What do you think of That's that, pretty... Stephen? What do you think about those numbers? Uh, those are high numbers to be of death. You think it counts as full genocide? I, I think so, but I think that the, the political considerations are what keep them from actually c- calling it that. 
Oh, and they call it the Armenian. What it's good to have it? Steve here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I know. I mean, Shane knows more than I know. No, I don't know that's, shit. That's, I don't a, know that's shit. about what would the extent of my like knowledge. 19, it was what like 1915, say, Ottoman Empire, yeah. World War One, pre, you know. Well, just spitballing, Steve. What would you say your favorite genocide is? Favorite of, yeah. genocide? Like, which one are you most drawn to? It's got to be the one of your people. Well, I mean... Remember when your people got fucking Like, if you were to pick one... Yeah, so yeah. I, well, book, ideally, I'd pick do a book report on which one would you pick. Well, my favorite would be the one where the fewest amount of people got killed. Oh, I just don't know what how. What a to... fucking sissy answer. But, but I, I mean... so you like them quick and easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have a good answer to that. I, that's a bad. That's a bad. Yeah, no, that's a good question. What's your favorite genocide? What's I don't yours? Know, I'm thinking. Yeah. I think. I think an underrated one is Australia getting rid of the Aborigines. <laughs> that's an underrated that's, one. Really? Yeah. You imagine mean, those boys. Get talked about a lot, or you mean? Yeah, it's just we don't. Like, we don't talk about it enough. What they do? They just went down there and wiped out the native Native Australians. Yeah. I mean, and it was a bunch of fucking bad boys in Australia. Yeah. You know what I mean? Criminals. That's criminals and fucking English, like fucking. There's just guys wandering around being like, "Fuck off!" Fuck yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that was. That's pretty great. That's probably pretty. That's probably pretty brutal. Like, yeah. People moving next to you, and then like. They come fucking kill you, and you're like, yeah. oh, what the fuck? Because a lot of the American <laughs> ones, they put up a pretty good fight, so the genocide was more of just us dominating a war, you yeah. know? Oh, you're saying these guys yeah, did it's like, like, dude, well, America, America won they're, the they Indian have, Wars. They have plumper Indians down there, don't they? No, they got blacker Indians. I thought they were plump. I thought they were like... Oh, those ones... Like Samoan No, type. they were just... Like Inuit almost. No, Aborigines are like... I thought they had those hot Inuits down there. They don't have hot Inuits. <laughs> the Samoans are plump, though. Yeah, I know those are some big plump. boys. Those I had are, a Samoan fuck me up one time. That'd be a negative fight. Yeah. Trying to go to war with a bunch of Samoans. All you got is like a musket. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, the next thing you know, the rock's coming out. So I always picture... When they call when they say Aboriginals, I always picture like the shorter, stouter... No, Indians. they're like lanky black people. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Do you know that, Steve? Well, I think it's just like... Yeah, no, I didn't know it. It's good to know to what that you know. I always picture like an Eskimo. No, because well, it, it, isn't that term for any group of people indigenous to a particular place? I'm not sure. Uh. Aboriginal just means like before white dudes. Okay, you know. <laughs> it's really great. It's pretty funny when you think about it. Gotcha. All right, all right. Enough of this. Uh, you know, white people apparently evolved like eight thousand years ago. What are you talking about? That like whiteness in the cave you're talking about? Well, just like. White skin, eight. That it's only eight thousand years old. Something like that. We we got to Google, but it's incredibly recent. Really? It was one of those things. What happened? Well, I'm assuming it was something about living in a a cooler climate, or not. You know, like less sun. So you need to like albinos. You need to gather more vitamin D. This is, by the way, Google this. I have literally no, no idea what I'm talking about. We say, we say garbage nonstop. Okay, but You're allowed yeah, to, I think, yeah, you I know, in order to capture <laughs> sort of like a solar panel. Do you think that we're then just like albino black people? Well, sure. I mean, we're, I mean. Not black. We're just albino people, man. Yeah, but we're sure. supposed to be black. It's, no, it's, it's an, an, evolution, it's an al- evolution to where you live. Just like black people evolved because they were close to the equator. So they need less sun. Yeah. That's all. As when people spread, yeah, but you wouldn't if you had the melanin, you wouldn't die off either. So it's like it's not like it would be an encouraged to be lighter skin. You it know would, I mean? would because you, would. you could get like rickets and uh, yeah, you uh, get sick up there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the further north you go, you get you can people get sick from lack black of sun. People, black people get sick. White people get sick. So imagine, you know, a couple oh, you're of, talking oh, a couple of Aboriginals like up seasonal there, seasonal oppressive disorder or <clears throat> affective disorder and all that stuff. Although Inuits are pretty fucking. So you think whites can take darkness better than black people? You're saying. Obviously. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> wow. I had to do the math I, I never there. Thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I never black people can take sunlight more. Fuck it. Yeah. So. True. That keep that sense. in mind. So I was talking to my friend recently, and uh, he was hanging around down like West Philly, or whatever. It's like yeah. a very, very anti fa area, like especially if you're down near like Clark Park. And this dude, it's just, it was so funny. So he's hanging out, and he sees this. Chinese dude with his girlfriend. This guy was like from fucking China. Who is this that we're talking about? It's my buddy. I okay. just don't want to you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. blow shit up. But it was like, so he's chilling and uh, he sees this like super like off the boat Chinese dude. His girlfriend's fucking hammered. And he's like, they're arguing. He's like, well, you fucking come on. You have to get inside. You're falling over. It's the middle of the is day. Is that how he was saying it? 
No, but he's how just kind, is he saying? He's just it? going like, oh, do you, like he's yeah, grabbing yeah, yeah. her. Yeah. So then this white dude sees him and he's like, "Hey, you put her down right now! No, I will not allow that." And he starts like you know doing the fucking chants and yeah. shit. And the guy just looks at him. He's like, "Huh?" <laughs> he's trying to get his girlfriend inside. So there was other Asians, antifas, with this one guy being like, "You be a bit." And they, one guy looked. I guess. Wait, wait, wait. This is. It's a white guy, and he had like two Asian actual antifas. Yeah, more or less. It was just a white guy with like a, a dumb, fucking shitty, like tight, yes. cut off black jeans. Yeah, it was a being social like, justice warrior. Yeah, white guy. basically an SJW being like, "You will not take her. I will not let you do that." Uh. Yeah. And then uh, there was like he had like Asian POC friends with him, and uh, they are POC. <laughs> oh, very POC. POC. Oh, very POC. So they were like, "You cannot take her too." Of all this stuff, and the guy was like, "Hold on, hold on," and started talking to the one Asian dude. That's sick that that's how you actually like, oh, imitate dude. Asian people in dude, a story. I mean, that's dude. Literally, this guy was so. Okay. Yeah. This guy was so Chinese, dude. Mm-hmm. He literally went, "Oh, yeah." Oh, the dude. And the lady was just, and the girlfriend was just like. Mimi. <laughs> like an anime character just like oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually he just like walked by his house is right there and he's like yeah. oh don't you and like carried yeah, his yeah, drunk yeah. girlfriend inside and the white guy had to be like okay fine this time I'll allow it but never again dude yeah dude, dude have you ever seen like uh, like one time me and my friends were walking me and my other friend he was an offensive lineman at Elon mm-hmm. we were walking home so he and I are both pretty fucking big dudes and uh, we were walking home from the bar, and we just saw this clearly hammered guy and clearly his hammered girlfriend. Yeah. And they were arguing, and he, like, pushed her onto the ground in the grass. They were on a hill. And he pushed her. And he, like, pushed her up the hill down. So she had to catch herself in but the hands. But no, she fell. She couldn't fucking catch herself. But, <laughs> I mean, clear violence against his girlfriend, which is crazy. But it was so fucking funny. Like, there wasn't any, like, he didn't cold cock or anything like that. Like, they were just arguing. He was like, shut up, you fucking bitch. They, like, pushed her down. And me and my friend, we stopped it, but we stopped it, like, laughing. You gotta be like, we dying. were like, dude, what the fuck was that? You can't that? push your fucking girlfriend. Like, that's exactly how I said it. I was like, dude, what the fuck was that? <laughs> I, yeah, I believe that, and too. And that guy was like, nothing, dude. <laughs> I was oh, like, dude. And, and I mean, my friend was like 6'5, yeah. 300 pounds. Like, I mean, we you were, were both, totally in control of we everything. Were, I mean, there was no chance that guy could have done anything. And dude. it was, it was. How'd she hit the ground, dude? Gracefully? No, she nice was jiu- drunk. Like a jujitsu tumble? She was a drunk college white check. No, she landed like Batman. Like she put like a <laughs> hand up. <laughs> Came down with a fist to the yeah. ground. She definitely probably fell like a, a soccer player. You know, like if they, they feel like yes. blowing a soccer player's ear, they just go like, whoa. Yeah, she dove and then grabbed her ankle and, and screamed. And rolled around. Yeah, and then we gave her boyfriend a red card, which is uh, we beat the fuck it. No. <laughs> we just laughed and kept walking. We were like, should we fucking... Walk them home. What do they do? Like, what do we do? He picked her up. Like, sorry. Yeah, he did. We were like, dude, what the fuck? And he was like, all right, all right, my bad. <laughs> I mean, sure that I'm that definitely led to that guy's definitely right now. You know, I if you have that in you, if you have that in you where you're fucking throwing people your around, yeah, that's a weird thing to have. It's fucking crazy. I'm I think the you. reason I laughed was it was just so startling to see somebody push their girlfriend. And, and then, of course, weird... to watch a drunk girl fall. And it's it's like a, I mean, that's hilarious. It's just say. a hilarious way to handle an yeah, argument. Nobody's really hurt. The girl's probably, you know, she got pushed. She's definitely butt hurt. She's definitely startled. She's butt hurt <laughs> for sure, dude. Tell you what, she didn't disagree with old Chet or whatever that kid's name was again. Who? Her boyfriend, I'm saying. Chet. Dude, whatever yeah, his name was. That dude, if they're Yo. still together, they're still together. He could have her in Mexico. He probably brought her on a vacation. They're in Mexico. Oh. Sunset's he's coming. Push her off dolphins. the yacht. Dolphins. No, dude. <laughs> dolphins are fucking jumping. He's like, this is beautiful, babe. She's like, yeah, it is. Remember you pushed me? And he's like, <laughs> fuck. Will you ever let that go? <laughs> so I fucked that one football player afterwards. <laughs> but, uh, every dude, Elon University and a lot of the schools down there, like Duke, North Carolina, all those schools are like the ultimate. All the southern schools Mm -hmm. are fucking douche city. I mean, every school is fucking douche city. But, like, so, like, northeast schools, you get, like, guidos and fucking, like, wiggers and, like, that. (laughs) Dude, Dude, down there. Sorry. That's so fucking funny. We go ahead. Just the idea of just guidos and wiggers. (laughs) Yeah, that's what you get. It's like like you're playing Age of Empires. Like, (laughs) my guidos go up here. The guidos from Rutgers versus the wiggers from Westchester. (laughs) You just have them stationed. Yeah, dude, you're making deals. You're trading black and milds for fucking axe. (laughs) But uh, the south is, like... They have a they have a swoop. Their hair is uh-huh. like a p- 
parted long hair that comes down. Yeah, they're weirdly and then they pretty have, boys. They all wear there. bow ties Ugh. with button down shirts and then short shorts, like pastel colored short shorts and boat shoes. That's who. I, and I'm walking around in a fucking sweatsuit. Like, yeah, I got to get the fuck out of here. Dude, I when I was down Those south, people suck. When I got a taste of the dudes down south, mm-hmm. of like I was unaware of like country music culture, yeah. And like you, we'd be at like bars and stuff, and they do karaoke, and like a guy would come up and sing country karaoke, which is, dude, if you're going to be like, and they they would go up and be like, I'm the. There's a thing in like the South cowboy culture where it's like I'm the roughest, tumblest, wild man you ever did see. <laughs> and this guy would sing a song and like two to dude. Yeah. And they were like hot. There were these yeah, hot, they guys were hot guys who karaoke country, and I'm like, dude, these guys are fucking doors. But it was cool down there. It there was definitely is it was like weird. It was almost like Asian culture where like you try at karaoke. You know, I think that ties back into your theory about England. How like English dudes oh, are so sure. weird because there's not black people checking. You need them. black people to check. And you the I fuck think it is out. kind of really separate down south still. So white guys can go. Like yeah. if there was karaoke in Philly, there's going to be a couple black people there. And if oh. I go sing like fucking. Burke Williamson or whatever, whoever, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. country music guy, and up there like, no, nah, I'm the root and it's tearness, and if you yeah. spit in my car, I'm a spit tobacco. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> hold uh, my cup while I, I shit. I said, hey, pretty lady, get in the back of this truck, and we rolled downtown, and I fingered her pussy. And it's like, dude, yeah, you need black people to keep you in check. You need a cooler. That's why fucking Conor McGregor thinks he's Floyd Mayweather. He's dude. walking around like, well, I'm gonna knock him out. In four, inside of four rounds, well, I guarantee. Floyd Mayweather it. said he's going like, to win this for black people. Mayweather's going to fucking rock his jaw. Do you hear that? Mayweather's like, I'm winning this for black people. Well, that's a great move. Another, now we have another fucking race battle, that's dude. That's hilarious. Why can't we chill? We can't chill. It's another race battle. Dance and I, for me, boy. I want him to. I want McGregor to win so bad. And now you can't. Now, now I'm a fucking racist, dude. Well, I mean, but I'm Irish. Mayweather's a piece of shit. But uh, <laughs> speaking of Asians, oh yeah. What do you think about this in the news, dude? Chinese officials are upset right now. Why? Because they're saying they can't recruit young soldiers right now because they're all too fat and they all masturbate too much. That's an official statement? That's an official statement. From <laughs> Out the, of Beijing? From the People's Republic, dude. Oh, my God. Little boys are who are they trying to? Who are they trying to fight? Are no they, one. They're just, who, trying to build up, just trying to build up their military. I thought they were facing invaders from the steppe. They, the Huns, no, dude, no, fucking the Huns, back. The the Huns, Huns have rised. Mongolia is <laughs> shut down. The Chinese have that. Yeah. So no one's trying to like assail their wall. Well, I mean, no, the wall is heavily guarded. Really? Although there might be some White Walkers coming. The Chinese, <laughs> they've always been very, so, very dragon centric, dude. So <laughs> how are they going to get these boys off the porn? I don't know. Weight? There's nothing they can do. That's hard, man. Well, I mean, it's sick how we, that's a Western problem. Well, they're they watching all that fucking Futinari, we gave dude. Them, we gave them fucking cartoons and KFC. We and gave video them cartoons? Games, and we were like, go ahead. Dude, they invented the anime. Yeah, they invented the anime, but they Futin- were appropriating our they're cartoon probably, culture. That's true. Yeah, but they they made up Futinaria. I, I don't know what that is. Futinaria is anime where the girls in the anime characters grow magically grow penises. Ooh. It's called Futinaria. That's probably what they're all watching. Because you watch a lot of Futanari, you get fat. Really? <laughs> it makes you a bad soldier. <laughs> yeah, dude. Their army... I mean, think of it. They got a bunch of little tiny Chinese boys. Yeah. All eating KFC, jerking off. A bunch of little Chinese Cartmans, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that episode when they play World of Warcraft, yeah. and they're like... Arr. That's what happened. Dude. We need to get the North Koreans some World of Warcraft, dude. That's actually not a bad... Just hit them with some... Dude, they probably... North Korea probably doesn't have any anime. Not yet. If you hit fucking Asian guys with hot, like hot cartoon characters, they get fat instantly, <laughs> dude. All their blood goes right to their belly. <laughs> All their blood pools from going to their dick constantly. Just like yep, and just stays right in their belly, belly, ready to go. I watched Asian porn the other day, like blurry Asian fucking... on Asian, and it was blurry. Terrible. Oh, oh, it was man, terrible, yeah. dude. Who the fuck watches Asian See, porn? I can't get down to say okay. And the girls, two like, things I can't get down with. The girls, I can get down with them if they're not blurred. I can't watch fucking Asian dudes drop D. No. It just, I'm sorry, it doesn't turn me on. No, it's gross. Asian guys boning, and again, I'm sorry, but this is my sexuality. Yeah. I can't get hard for them, dude. Well, they're also very, like, spindly, like, slender, (laughs) gross, like, skinny, fat, fucking weird dudes. (laughs) <laughs> it's hard to fucking get it going. Well, they get aggressive, dude, in the Asian boys. Like, oh, this is, this is. And the girls are like, <laughs> yeah, dude, the girl noises are crazy. Well, I think in, 
I am totally spitballing, but I think in Japanese culture, if you're like, it turns Japanese dudes on if the girl's kind of acting like she's totally regretting her decision the whole time during sex. So she's like, eh, well, I mean, who's not turned on by that? Eh, if they're like, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking like that shit. <laughs> I hate that. And they cover their face and they're like, eh, and some guys like, oh, those are, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they like that. They like the fucking get a tie on, be a fucking Japanese businessman. <laughs> You've acquired this woman. That's what they're into, dude. It's true. <laughs> it is true. <laughs> you know, Japanese people invented MSG. No. True. What is what is MSG? It's the bad shit in Chinese food. They what, probably slipped it to the fucking Chinese in a briefcase, dude. That's why they're all yeah. fat now. Dude, I was think, I was eating fucking dim sum the other day. I've come to the realization I fucking hate Chinese food. Yeah, yeah. I'm, it I, fucking sucks. I love Chinese food, but... But why? I can't... Like, lately in my life, the older I've gotten, like, if I eat it, I get so thirsty. That's like, the MSGs, crazy. dude. That's crazy. the MSGs. Dude, it's the literally the most dishonest food that's ever been. It's just little. I was eating it. And I'm like, I'm paying forty bucks for dim sum. It's just meat wrapped in noodles, and the only reason it's good because it's fucking covered in salt. I was like, yeah, this shit's a fucking ripoff. Well, it's the Chinese. And dude. Then they had fucking chemicals, dude, gotten from the Japanese. The Japanese, so the Japanese dude. gave the Chinese <laughs> fucking chemicals, dude. What That's the only about, way they can push their shitty fucking food. What do you think about the Korea, dude? What do you think about the North Korea? The Korea aren't eating that MSGs, dude. <laughs> They're eating fucking rats. I think They're I think, not eating much. I think, I think Kim Jong protects his people from all the MSGs, dude. That's how he's so small. He is. <laughs> dude, he's the man. He's that so, guy's hilarious. He's so funny. He's the best. 